Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Chip. It was great to see Lee out at the uh, property today. What a nice house. Good location, too. Let's take a look at the top. So the, <laughs> the first thing I noticed when I got up on top, there was a chimney cap sitting over here in the valley. Uh, that belonged on the furnace flue. So I went ahead and reinstalled it. But both those caps are hardware store caps and um, they don't uh, stay on real well. Um, whenever this crown is poured, I think what we'll do with your permission is we'll go ahead and glue those things down or we'll have the uh, buyer's uh, permission, the new homeowner's position to, uh, permission to do that. Gluing them down is the only way that they're going to ever uh, stay on top of the chimney. Uh, let's see, crown is cracked, so it's going to need to be re-poured, whether it's by me or someone else. And if someone else reports it, just let them know that they should go ahead and glue those uh, caps down for you so they don't blow off. This chimney has been relined, but it's been relined like the coat of many colors. It has a clay liner here at the top, so about a foot of it is the traditional clay liner that you see in fireplaces. Then as you look down, they've got a rigid piece of stainless steel. Then they put even a smaller uh, flex stainless steel, which is what you see in here. So we're looking down through the, the uh, rigid pipe down. So they have got this thing downsized so much. If you burn wood in there, you are likely to smoke up your whole house. You see how small it is. And this, where, where it's all white in here, that's what it used to be. You need that in order to, for the fireplace to, to draw properly. So vent-free gas logs is going to be a, your best choice. Vent-free, remember, uh, produces no carbon soot, no carbon monoxide, no worries about what comes back into the house. You also get some wonderful heat from it if you keep the damper closed like this. You'll get wonderful heat in the house. By the way, the damper is working well. Not that it makes any difference because you're either going to leave it open or closed. Fireplace, this uh, this new uh, surround or whatever you want to call it, this facelift looks wonderful. I thought I thought they did a nice job there. Questions for me, give me a call 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.